Mainstream focuses on developing, building and operating large-scale wind and solar plant. Since the company was formed in February 08, we've expanded in eight countries and we now have a pipeline of 14,000 megawatts of projects. And to put it into perspective, Ireland's electrical grid has a peak demand equivalent to about 5,000 megawatts. Now in Europe, our projects are all offshore wind. Outside of Europe, we are in South Africa, in Chile, in the US and Canada. And in those four countries, our business is onshore wind and solar. It's a very entrepreneurial culture where innovation is prized above everything else. While we operate globally, all business is local. So we work very closely with local farmers, local businesses, you know, local supply chain to ensure that we get our global vision implemented. For us, with Aircom, in a nutshell, it was the one-stop shop. So we get a vast range of services from Aircom today. Our global voice and data circuits come from Aircom, our video conferencing equipment and its maintenance. So everybody in our company has a video conference enabled laptop. All of our offices have high-end polycom based video conferencing facilities. Our business travel has been diminished. We have our key business systems hosted by Aircom, our security, our firewall management with Aircom. We saw that Aircom had that expertise and we saw that we needed a strategic partner. When we looked at the market at the time, we couldn't see anyone else who could do it. Aircom were peerless in their ability to execute. As we've grown, our demands have grown. We found that Aircom were receptive to the reality of where mainstream would be by 2012, by 2015. So Aircom could see the strength of the strategic argument and then, if you like, front-loaded the effort on, on the design and the strategic partnering. So we saw that in a way that it was refreshing. We hadn't seen Aircom's competitors behave like that. We see a very strong focus on teamwork and innovation as well. That decision by Aircom to build a HSQ, an open plan, low carbon footprint building that encouraged and enhanced the teamwork and collaboration. In dealing with Aircom, we see people who get that, they understand that. You know, they're always coming up with innovative solutions. So that entrepreneurial spirit seems to be alive and kicking in Aircom. There are many theories on how best to do disaster recovery. The approach we took was to have all of our key business systems in a singular enterprise data centre hosted by Aircom and to have those services replicated in a different Aircom data centre. So in the event of a crisis, we're dealing with one team, not two teams, one organisation, not two organisations. And that's about the best way to handle DR that I've seen. Aircom have a very strong team who are very up to date with the latest threats and the latest technologies to address those threats. The partnerships with the various uh, software and hardware vendors are exemplary. So there was very much a sense that Aircom could provide us with a service that we couldn't match internally, not in terms of quality nor in terms of price. I think what we've achieved is faster, better, simpler and indeed cheaper deployment of IT services. Strategic partnerships in IT are the way of the future and Aircom understand that. Aircom, when given the opportunity, can provide an integrated set of services that's very difficult to beat on price or quality.